If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 3, episode 4, we are going to see about Precise Throughput Timer. The Precise Throughput Timer, it will introduce the variable pauses and then it will help you to keep up the total throughput as close as possible. It is similar to constant throughput timer, but here the main difference is the variable pauses, meaning the random delay. And also it is uh, important to note, it will work best for the number of requests, less than 3600 requests per hour. So this is how it looks whenever you add a precise throughput timer, where you have to mention the target throughput details and there are options to configure the batch departures and the random seed. By default, the random seed is zero, which means uh, it's total random. The important points you have to take care when you are working in this timer is, you have to keep this timer under the first element in your test plan. So you, uh, you have to keep it under the first element if uh, you are not able to add it due to certain business reasons uh, in the first element, then what you can do is you can leverage the dummy sampler uh, request. So you add a dummy sampler and add the precise throughput timer underneath, then you can uh, keep your uh, total uh, business process. And it leverages the Poisson point process. You can check in Wikipedia about uh, Poisson uh, point process for the uh, random delay because our objective would be in our performance testing is to simulate the real world situation that can be done using the Poisson distribution. And another important point you have to note here is you have to set the ramp up period and the delay uh, in the thread group to zero because this timer, the precise throughput timer will take care to simulate the real world situation using the Poisson point process and no need to worry about ramp up period because sometimes you set it too high, sometimes you will set it too less and you will not be able to achieve the total throughput. So that is why it is always good to have these two configuration to zero, the rest the precise throughput timer will take care. And also this will works with the multiple thread groups. If you have multiple thread groups in your test plan, uh, this works well. So no need to add a random delay for each thread group so that it will start in a random phase. So this Precise throughput timer will take care of uh, those uh, configurations. Very important thing is you have to understand how it works. Whenever you configure or add this throughput timer, precise throughput timer, first it will create a schedule and then it will keep it in the heap memory. So this schedule creation uh, will be good if there are uh, less than 1 million samples in your test plan. So this 1 million samples, if you have, assume that you have a lot of uh, samplers and uh, it will try to generate the schedule uh, within 200 milliseconds and then it will occupy around 8 MB of your heap. So this is the official calculation. For example, I have this uh, thread group, number of threads 50 and ramp up period is 0 and loop count is infinite and duration of my test is uh, 300 seconds. And if I add the precise throughput timer, as you see in the screen, target throughput is 200. So 200 of what? So 200 we have to achieve within the throughput period is 60 seconds. So every minute I have to achieve 200 samples. And the test duration is 60 here. So here the test duration do not confuse with the duration of your uh, third group. So this test duration is where the schedule will be created by JMeter. So if you see in this uh, log, whenever you start this test, this kind of configuration, first it will generate 200 timings. So this 200 is coming from the total, uh, the target throughput. And it is generated in one milliseconds. And the rate is 3.33 something and the duration is 60 seconds. So this kind of log information you can see throughout your uh, execution uh, every minute because our test duration, basically this test duration is a kind of timer. Uh, so every 60 seconds, the 
timings will be generated basically throughput and then it will display the information about the uh, timings it will be a little confusing but we will see in a demo so that you can understand better and then uh, we have the uh, output so here if you see for this kind of configuration if you execute if you have five uh, samplers in your test plan the total will be around 5000 requests because we are targeting 200 in a minute and there are uh, five samplers so 500 5 into uh, 200 in a minute and the total duration is uh, 5 minutes so here you can see 300 seconds which is 5 minutes so 5 minutes 5 samplers 200 so which comes around 1000 each and the total will would be 5000 requests so this is the uh, I have executed this setup and then I have cal uh, captured this uh, output uh, we will be seeing the same demo in the uh, demo section but before that, let me cover few more aspects of precise throughput timer. One is the batch rate departures. So this batch rate departures, it will very helpful if you are planning to send the request at a time. Uh, basically, you, there are certain uh, requirements from the business where you have to hit the uh, send the requests at the same time. So th that is where this batch rate departures comes into picture. So I want to send uh, five threads here in using the delay of one uh, second so every one second five five threads will be uh, triggered from jmeter and another important uh, setting you have to know is the random seed so random seed by default it is set to zero which is truly random which you cannot predict every time but if you want to repeat the same uh, randomness again and again then you can set the value to non-zero uh, value for example it could be 10 or 20 then whenever you execute the jmeter test it will follow the same randomness so that is the purpose of the random seed okay now enough of the theoretical uh, stuff now let us see a demo and uh, we will play around with the precise throughput timer and then we will see the output so as you see in the screen i have one dummy sampler in my test plan and there are uh, four HTTP uh, requests. So actually, let us add one more. Uh, five HTTP requests. So including dummy sampler, the total number of uh, requests would is uh, six. And to add the timer, you have to right click on the uh, dummy sampler, the first dummy sampler, and go to add timer and select precise throughput timer. So by default, uh, the batch departures would be one and the delay between the threads is zero and the uh, random seed is, uh, will be zero and here if you see the target throughput which is uh, 200 so here you can see in the brackets it is throughput period so throughput period is basically you have to mention in seconds so here if you mention 60 then it will be 200 per minute so based on your business requirement, you have to enter it here. So always go by the business requirement. So do not calculate uh, uh, at your own convenience. So if the architect is saying, okay, 300 requests in a minute, then you have to calculate, you have to enter the right value for your uh, based on the requirement. And here the test duration is 60. So 60 means every minute, the new schedule, the timings will be generated. And uh, this uh, information right now as of now we are keeping uh, default and then uh, let us execute this uh, particular configuration but before that let us validate the the group so here i have mentioned 50 threads and ramp up period should be zero that is the best practice and the duration is uh, 300 uh, seconds so this 300 seconds is the total execution time of your test plan so do not confuse with this duration okay this duration is for the timer not for your test execution. So this is very simple calculation, nothing fancy here, just X comma Y comma Z. And now let us uh, execute for say two minutes. And I have added only the aggregate report. So let us click on run. Okay, now as you see, it has started uh, sending the requests uh, based on the target throughput and uh, if you hit this uh, exclamatory 
icon it will bring up this uh, log view and here you can see uh, line number 10 it uh, mentioned generated 200 timings the precise throughput timer 200 is required rate duration in 0 milliseconds and first 15 events will be fired at the some uh, duration and if you just scroll down after a minute you can see there will be a, again the schedule will be generated so right now it is executing and it is trying to keep up the uh, the throughput here 200 per minute so here it will be per sample it will be 200 so total would be around uh, 6 into 200 around 1200 uh, requests you can see in a minute so right now it is under 57 seconds 58 59 one minute so almost it generated the 1200 seconds and if you see the log again there is a note saying that generated 200 timings so precise throughput timer 200 required it generated in zero milliseconds and again after a minute it will uh, generate the uh, timings but in this case it will stop because our total duration is 120 seconds only so in 120 seconds uh, total will be around 2400 requests will be generated throughout our samples it will try to keep up the total throughput and then it will achieve the as close as possible and here if you use this precise throughput timer no need to do anything with respect to your ramp up or uh, other configuration everything will be taken care by your uh, element so now as of now if you see it's ramping down uh, and then almost it is going to complete the test and two minute uh, two minutes test is done and if you see the total is 2390 request has been achieved so actually our target is 2400 so we almost achieved the throughput so this throughput again it depends on various factors how you designed your application i mean test plan and uh, uh, your machine resource and then heap memory uh, operating system and uh, latest version of java sdk so it influences a lot of factors so you have to baseline your number based on your configuration in this case i'm just sending the dummy sampler so the performance is good but if if, if it is actual application then this will uh, stutter basically if the application is has high response time so it depends on your uh, application your uh, settings uh, jmeter uh, version so a lot of factors uh, influences the, to uh, calculate the uh, the throughput or uh, how much threads i can run in my system okay now i i think you are getting the gist of the uh, precise throughput timer okay now uh, let us play around with the batch departures so before that let me change this to one minute and in the batched departures i'm going to send 10 uh, uh, say uh, 10 requests every minute okay now 10 requests it will be uh, jmeter will send 10 requests at the same time and then it will take a break of uh, one uh, second and then it will send again but it will try to keep up the throughput within the line it will not cross this line basically if you enter say uh, 10,000 no it will not so here uh, we have to go the number of threads would be less than the uh, the target throughput threads and you have to use your common sense basically if you just enter some uh, uh, some five digit numbers uh, no it will not work so uh, we will see uh, the output of this batch departures so right now it will send 10 requests at the same time so we can see it here one minute so right now it is at 30 see it's 40 40 40 everywhere so it is just storming the requests uh, to the uh, to the server and then uh, it influences the uh, it leverages the poison point process also so sometimes it will hit the 10 requests sometimes it will keep up the throughput uh, based on the random delay so just mix and match and then it will try to uh, send the uh, requests so this is how the batch departures will work Okay, now let us go with the say 10,000 threads and uh, say uh, 10 milliseconds. Okay, 10,000, not 100,000. And if you run this now, say it is still uh, thinking, okay, wh what's going on with my configuration, right? So it's unrealistic. So it may or may not execute. If it is executed, it will take more time. 
and then uh, sometimes you will not be able to uh, run at all because as you see the timer is almost done around 30 seconds it's reaching 30 seconds our test is uh, 200 uh, 120 seconds so we it may not execute so you have to uh, give uh, some valid numbers here otherwise you will not be able to uh, reproduce the batch departures okay now uh, okay now it is sending almost after 40 seconds so you got the request but it is not uh, keeping up the number of threads here right because we have entered some 100k but total number of thread is 50 so it's not going to uh, uh, simulate the target throughput okay in one minute it executed around 3000 Uh, 745 samples but in a minute we should achieve only 200 here okay so 200 into 6 1200 only it should execute but in this case it executed beyond that so it is not a valid test so let us clear this and uh, let us configure back to 1 and delay should be 0 uh, okay and now let us uh, play with the random seed so random seed uh, by default it is zero which means truly random but i want to uh, follow the certain pattern in my test so if you want to follow that then you can change it to uh, some non zero number uh, 10 20 30 uh, based on some valid number based on your uh, uh, at the time of uh, impulse uh, decision you can take and then uh, you can just uh, input some number and this will uh, try to uh, follow the pattern basically based on the number you enter and then it will uh, follow every time it will repeat the same because there are some business requirements i want to execute uh, certain request at the same time uh, after this something like that then you can follow this uh, random seed uh, that's it guys of my side uh, i hope it will be very useful if you have any questions please uh, ask in my community or in the comments uh, definitely i'll be able to help you out this uh, sampler is available in github repo please check it out and thanks for watching and if you have time please go to my next tutorial have a good day if you would like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel